This is a story about a young man who experienced uh, an experience of the unexpected, of the unwanted, uh, and he is tried and challenged uh, from left and right and up and down. Um, his faith, his perseverance, uh, his love for people, everything is challenged. And he finds uh, light in a very dark place. And he, he realized that he didn't have to travel too far to find it because it was already within him. Uh, and he goes on to, to reclaim his innocence and his truth, uh, but not stop there. He decided that it was more important uh, to turn around, reach back into that very dark place, and begin to pull other people out. That is the gist of this movie. <laughs>I have been teaching in a his, at a historical black college and at the University of Memphis, and I saw Brian's story emblematic of injustices that were happening in the neighborhoods and the kids that I cared about. Yeah. And uh, their stories broke my heart, and, and Brian's as well. And I thought if we could tell Brian's story, that maybe their lives would be improved by Brian shedding some light on what is happening in the criminal justice system. When you know a kid in jail, that is in jail wrongly, unjustly, wasn't given their due, it breaks your heart. It, it, you can't not do something. You can't not pick up the phone. And I'm hoping that when they fall in love with Brian, when America and the world falls in love with Brian, that people pick up the phone, they pick up their, their, their cell, they, they text, they tweet, they do research, they start a conversation. And because it really all starts with caring, with getting close to an issue, with getting close to a person that represents an injustice, and then doing something about it. And then the guy's so inspiring. Brian is one of the most inspirational figures I've ever met. I, my life has been about surrounding myself by people that can pull me up out of whatever darkness I'm going through. So I read the mystics and the saints and the sages, and they always see a light in places we don't see a light. And Brian saw a light in a place that none of us see a light, in a very dark place. And, uh, and that, that to me is a, is a metaphor to how to move through life. Hey, yeah, it is very surreal to be in this moment. Very uh, exciting too that, uh, you know, all the, uh, the, the, the amazing and great things that come with the film. Uh, but moreover, um, proud to be here uh, in the sense of uh, I am now a voice for those who've been who've been silenced, those who have no voice. Um, this is their story just as much as it is my story. Uh, so to to be in this space um, where I could be a representation of the many flaws within our system in hopes that this this movie will change the course of our failed and flawed system, um, I'm happy to be the person the person to step up and use my hardship. Uh, as a lesson and as a tool. Yeah, man, we, we are connected. We started off as friends. Uh, we actually, we started off as, as, you know, working together on a project. We became friends and I would, I would honestly say we are, he's one of my best friends today. I really thank him for what he's done for this project and for the love that his family has given our family. We've all come together, so it's great. Yeah, I didn't know how it would be, and uh, I, I wanted to be a good student of my own experience mm -hmm. and, and see if it was, it was where I was going to be moving in the future, and it felt like home again. First day on a mo the movie set, it felt like home, and uh, fortunately, of course, I had a, a great group with me, and Brian was on the set every day, but, uh, you know, there's that place deep inside that we all know when we're doing the thing we're supposed to be doing, and I'm, I'm supposed to be doing this.